Yeah, I mean, it's one of those ones where I'm absolutely over the moon, but at the same time, I'm like, oh, so close. Because honestly, I didn't think that I had a 22-2 in me. Everybody was kind of joking. They're saying, oh, you're near your PB. But, you know, when you get close to a race, everybody likes to fill your head with positive things, your confidence. So I was just like, yeah, okay, sure. And then I ran and I was like, oh my God, I am close to my PB. But, um... With that, I'm absolutely over the moon to have done that off a broken foot, but at the same time, seven hundredths away from a bronze medal does suck. I'm not going to pretend, but um, in the grand scheme of things, I'm really, really happy with that performance. I know it's very difficult at this stage to analyse the race, but can you kind of talk us through a bit? Um, to be fair, I just remember thinking, run your phases, don't get tired when you're not meant to, and just go. I just remember thinking, go, go, go. So if you ask me to kind of talk through it, I'm not entirely sure. But um, yeah, I'm absolutely over the moon. It's another fourth place for the mm. British team, of course. Is this a team then that we perhaps should be watching and looking and following over the next two oh years? Oh my God, yeah, definitely. That's the only way you should look at it, especially with everybody's ages. Because I mean, although this is my third major champs, I'm still only 21. So hopefully, unless I decide to go and have a baby like Jess did or something, <laughs> I should have about another 10 years, another two Olympics in me. So um, to think that us lot, the Lauras, the Nathaniels, we kind of getting faults now and um, imagine what they can be with a bit more experience and a lot more training under our belt but yeah I mean it would have been lovely to come away with I mean we've still got loads of finals to go but it would have been lovely for us to all kind of get bronzes and or get silvers or even golds but at the same time sometimes you have to look at it cyclically and you have to look at it in the long term and I think the future is really really bright for GB. Was there a moment in the race where you thought Oh my gosh, yeah, like 50 to go. Normally I was, normally I get so tired and I wasn't even tired. So I was like, I could do this. And then I saw some blue in the corner of my eye and I was like, no. no. <laughs> but um, yeah, but that happens in every race. Normally for me, it's when I come off the bend. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm really, really happy. But at the same time, I would have loved to get a medal. Coming out from the start of the race, we've talked about this a million times before. <laughs> Pit girl, five years <laughs> yeah. ago. That atmosphere when they announced your name before the race, mm. what was that like? It was absolutely incredible because I think it's really, really cool that people just kind of want me to do well, which sounds so weird coming from an athlete, I guess. But um, in my opinion, I'm just kind of me and everybody's like, go on, go on. So it makes you really, really want to do well. It makes you want to do these people that maybe haven't, wouldn't, they walk past you in the street and they wouldn't know who you are, but they're suddenly so passionate about your performance. It makes you want to do them proud. I mean, they're out here on a cold, rainy night supporting you. So um, yeah, it was such a privilege and such an honor to be able to run in front of a home crowd and I'm so happy to have put together such a performance, but I wish I could have been 800th quicker. <laughs> how aware are you? How okay. aware are you that people do know who you are? Oh. <laughs> the face of oh, no, not me. There's plenty more people to choose from anyway. I've got to go. See you later. Yeah.